Look at that, it's pitch black and it is almost nine o'clock in the morning. What's up guys, how's it going? Hope you all are doing well. As you can tell from the intro, today we are doing something kind of fun. I'm gonna wait till the sun comes up a little bit more and then I can show off exactly what I'm doing because today we're gonna do something fun. It is like, it, it, it's January the 1st, man. It is 2021. I want to start, you know, I wanna start the year off right productive and trying and learning something new. That is what we're doing today. We're doing underwater product photography. I have filled up the fish tank to how much I want. I don't I didn't want to fill it up all the way because I kind of I don't know. I just think having it like this is probably good. I mean, I don't know, maybe I should have had it a bit less, but I feel like this is an appropriate amount. Uh, so now I have my light set up kind of in place. So we have this overhead light here. So that's gonna be shining down. Peter McKinnon uses an aperture light for like his overhead light. I don't have that. I just have that cheap light. So we're gonna use that, should be all right. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got two, I should have three, yeah. So one light here, it's gonna be facing this side of the fish tank. Then we've got another one, which will be facing that side of the fish tank. And then we have one more that will kind of face the front of the fish tank. So the, 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 the can is going to get pretty much equal amounts of light. And then we can just, you know, change it from there. I don't know. That might be a bit too harsh, but I don't think it will be. Oh, this is good material. Um, I might not have to iron it actually. So what we can see here is the folds because it's being packaged up. Now, there's two things I can do. I can either iron it or my main idea was to have the fish tank as far away from the backdrop as possible. So uh, with the camera, we're gonna be shooting on like maybe an F4 or an F5 uh, and we're gonna have the camera quite close to the fish tank, which means the background will be quite blurred out um, and that should help like not show any of the any of the folds, any of the wrinkles and stuff. So uh, yeah, we'll see. we'll see how that works, but let's hook this up now. So, what we're gonna use to hook this up is, by the way, everything that I have here has been purchased from Amazon. We have this stand, this thing, which I will show you in a little bit. Cool, two of these, and then we're gonna have that rod to hook it up in the middle, and then we can clamp the cloth. Like that, done. With these lights, which I'll link down below by the way, I got these clamps and these clamps are awesome. So we're gonna use these to hook up the cloth. Let's do something like this. We have blackness now. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to definitely fix that. That's for sure. All right, I need to move everything out of the way. Clean, baby. Got my camera here. So this is the Sony A7S Mark I. I think I say this every time in my videos. Uh, Sigma 35 millimeter f1.4. This is my baby. I love her very much. She is one of the most beautiful lenses I've ever used. Don't think I ever wanna change. So what we're gonna do settings wise is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this at a very high shutter. So for those of you who don't really know much about like shutter speed and stuff, the higher the shutter, the faster the picture is going to get taken. Okay. So for this, cause we're dropping it, we want to make sure the shutter is really high so that it just captures everything super quick, man. So for example, if you have it at like 200 or 160 or, you know, 300, when you drop the can, you will get like a blur. We don't want that. We want it to be as crisp as possible. So we're gonna make sure the, sh I'm gonna go for like 1,600. Now, what's gonna happen is the image is gonna get darkened. Also, we're gonna bring the f-stop to like f6. So very dark. Now we're gonna crank up the ISO a little bit more to maybe like 1,250. I can bring it as much as I want because this is a A7S. So this is fantastic in low light. Plus we're gonna have these additional lights here too. But what I'm going to do is once I have everything set up, I'm gonna then, you know, see if any alterations need made and stuff. But another important thing is I'm gonna set this on. We're gonna be on self-timer continuous mode and this will take five images. I want it a lot more, but this is 
it seems like this is the only thing you can really do. So that means that when we click, um, it'll go on a self timer so I don't have to be there. I can drop it because I'm doing this by myself. And then when it takes a picture, it's going to take five of the images, which I think should be all right. And then there was light. All right, we just, <laughs> well, you can't even see me. We just have two lights, so we're gonna have to make do with two lights for now. All right, this is even extra ghetto because we just have two lights. It's, oh, I've got that one there as well, but I'll see, I'll see if two is enough, man. Um, from the back, I can see from there that it is just super blacked out. You can't see any of the wrinkles or anything like that. That's perfect. Um, we're gonna have to try and get rid of these bubbles. Also, I think this is probably the part of the video where it's just gonna be a time lapse because I won't have enough patience to keep coming to the uh, the camera. Also, it's starting to almost get midday, so I want to try and get this before um, we just can't escape the natural light. All right, I've been at this for about half an hour. It's fine, I just need to get the right one, that's all. <sighs> it's just not working, it is not working for a few reasons. One, my camera continuous mode thing, it's not quick enough. So it's 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 like capturing five images and that's it because it's on self timer. So um, I'm gonna see if, uh, I don't know what I can do to be honest, I'm not too sure. But we will figure it out, dude. I was looking through all the photos, I took 245 and guess what? We have one out of 245. It's not the best, okay? Uh, the sharpness isn't the best and also there's a lot of grain just because of the lighting and everything, but dum, dum, dum. Look at that dude. That looks so sick <laughs> I ended up doing all these spot removals on like the little bubbles and stuff and I just cleaned it all up around um, And we have ended up with this. It looks freaking amazing I'm gonna still try and do a couple more because I just want to see if I can get something r better than that. I don't think I will though. Everybody, good morning. What is up? It is the next day. I realized when I was editing the vlog, I did not complete the vlog when I went back to take more photos. Um, so yeah, and then when I ended up getting the photo, yes, I did get my photo. Uh, I was too psyched to finish the vlog. I ended up just coming onto Lightroom and then editing it. So I thought I'd finish it today. Um, so yeah, when I went back, there were a few changes that I made. Uh, firstly, with lighting. So my girlfriend was in the area, luckily, and she lent me her newer RGB light. It's a pretty big light. Um, here it is. I'll put a picture, like a behind the scenes photo, because I wanted to get some for like my socials. Um, so yeah, th there was this big newer RGB light, and I used that as a key light and a side light because it was just so bright. Um, so once again, stuck with like a two two light setup. Uh, because I, <laughs> I wanted something from like the top as well, like from the front, but it was literally just me, so I couldn't do that. As you can also see here, uh, I am pressing the button while dropping the Fantacan because I switched up the settings. Instead of using a self-timer continuous mode because I noticed on my camera, it wasn't taking like really fast photos when I had on that setting. So I just stuck um, speed priority uh, continuous mode and that took really quick, uh, con yeah, quick continuous speed priority mode. And that took really fast photos, but I just had to make sure I synced up everything, man. Like when I dropped it, take the photos. After an hour and a half and like 400 photos, I got one, so uh, I think that is all I really did. Uh, here is the raw photo because I'm gonna put the final photo like once I finish talking. So this is the raw photo. As you can see, uh, yeah, very, very messy. What I think would have helped a lot more was just better lighting, man, like much, much, much better lighting. Uh, the end photo that I got, I don't think I'd be comfortable enough giving it away to like a client or to Fanta or whoever owns Fanta because yeah, there are just a lot of things that I'm not happy with. There's too much noise on the Fanta can and then it just degrades the Fanta can. When putting it in social media, the compression like makes it like good enough, but I think if I was to give this to a company, I wouldn't be comfortable doing that. Obviously, for what this is, I'm very, very happy with the final end photo, uh, the final result, but uh, obviously if I was getting paid for this kind of stuff, you'd get paid quite a lot of money. So I'd hire somebody to like help with the lighting, I'd get better lighting as well. Um, I'd get a bigger studio space, you know, just so that I have a lot more um, uh, room to move and stuff. You know, everything as a whole would just be a lot more, um, you know, a lot more like higher value, you know what I mean? But because this is super ghetto, man, this is like me trying to just get a cool underwater photo for cheap. 
I'm super happy with what this is. Um, so yeah, here is the final photo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit on Lightroom. I just used spot removal to get rid of like all the inconsistencies and like the you know the the fish tank and everything uh, and all the little bubbles. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, if you have any tips, make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, enjoy.